Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we have a Cartier reveal. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably have noticed I posted a few pictures of me holding a Cartier bag and yeah, I gave in to the price increase and I went to Cartier. So let's get straight into the reveal because I've actually been using the item already. So it comes in the bag like this and let me just take out everything. And yeah, let's do the reveal first and then you can stay on and listen to the story time of why I decided to jump on this item. It comes in this beautiful packaging and I got this from the uh, Cartier at Ion Orchard. This is the box. Are you ready for this? This is so <laughs> exciting. I got myself the Cartier Jocelyn Koo yellow gold in the regular size. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it takes my breath away. It is so beautiful. I have been wearing it, so I just put it back in the box for this video, but it has been living on my wrist for the past couple of weeks. Oh my gosh, let me just put it on. It is in the size 15 because my love bracelet is in the size 16. So this is my Cartier stack. I am super, super happy. I just finally decided to do it. So let me show you the rest of the things that I got first and then we'll go in and talk about what happened, okay? Also got this other item and my wonderful essay KK or Kui Kim from the Ion Orchard. If you're looking for an essay, look for him. He is so sweet, so kind, so nice. He gave me two perfume samples. They're the same Karat perfumes and they're in like the deluxe size. Each of them are, oh my gosh, just look at this packaging. Whoa, look at that. It's like a, how big is this? This is 15 ml. So he gave me two. It's a 30 ml bottle already. It smells, oh, I don't know. Let me just put it right now and try. I haven't tried it actually since I got it. Because, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I just wanted to keep it first. Let me just smell it. Oh, it smells so good fresh. I think this is like a probably unisex. I think a guy can wear this as well. He also gave me the traveling pouch and you can use this with watches. So I have the Cartier Santos watch so I can definitely use this together which is so so useful. And of course I've got all the paperwork, the certificate, the receipt and yes. Now it's been in and out of my wish list for easily two years. I took it out and then this year, I actually put on a KIV or keep in view of WIP <laughs> because we were not traveling this year and I wanted to get some discount for, for it. But now with the pandemic and everything, you can't. And then they had the price increase. I actually did another video called Luxury and Debt. And in that video, I did say that I don't actually have enough for this bracelet because it's such a big purchase. I didn't put enough, you know, like side savings for it. And if I were to buy it, it's very irresponsible of me which, you know, it is very irresponsible. Talking to my friend here, good friend here, Clara, and we were sharing a few, you know, personal things and I was telling her about changes that is happening for me in my personal life. And maybe one day I will share it, you know, on YouTube, but right now I'm not ready to talk about it. But anyway, she was t telling me about some stuff and she was sharing her experience about buying this and a rep how it represents you know, some representation of it. And, you know, it really spoke to me and I thought, you know what, I, I think I'm going to get it. I'm going to get this as a representative of what's happening. So I made up my mind, I'm going to get it. And then the story about the price increase came out and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this is just another thing that I have to deal with, um, paying much more. Then I was talking to another friend and she's like, you know, you should get it because just do it. And she just kind of like, you know, influenced me to jump at it. And I decided, you know what, let's do it. Let's do it. And it was very irresponsible. So what happened is after I purchased this, I did a cleanse of my stuff. I sold about four of my items to fund this. And I don't normally like to do that, like to buy something and then sell something else to fund. I usually like to sell my stuff first and then fund. But, you know, this was a bit of a impulse purchase impulse but planned if you know what i mean i i kind of like wanted it but it's just the timing wasn't so right 
So to make up for that timing, I decided to let go of a few of my items. So there will be a purge video coming up soon. And about four of those items are specifically to fund my Just Include. I wish I didn't have to do it, but I have been getting a lot of use out of it. It has been living on my arm. The only thing is, <laughs> when I do my classes and I teach like boxing classes, this bracelet moves up and down. So right now, because I have so many bracelets on my arm, I have to wear two wristbands. My members are probably wondering like, maybe I have a wrist problem <laughs> or something. When I do boxing and it goes up and down, up and down, and it hits my hand, it actually hurts because this is solid gold. It's really, really weighty, but oh my gosh, I love it. It looks so cool. It feels substantial on the hand. I was thinking about maybe not paying so much and get the thinner version, but I've always wanted the thick version. I feel like if you want to... I don't know, if you want to go and wear something that is already so outstanding and on my skinny wrist, I just say, you know what, just go for gold, right? Go for the big guns and I'm really happy with it. Now, I have a very thin and tapered wrist, like can you see it's so tiny that even size 15 does roll um, around my hand. It doesn't really sit still, like some people's uh, just include sit still, mine does roll. But, you know, uh, at first I wasn't used to it, but now I'm actually quite okay with it. So I will do a review of this bracelet maybe in a few months from now because, yeah, I have some thoughts already about this bracelet in terms of scratches, in terms of wear, in terms of whether, you know, it rests and press into your skin. I do have some opinions on that already. So, but I will need to wear it a bit more, enjoy it first, and then I will let you know my thoughts. So anyway, that is my quick reveal, my story time, my very irresponsible purchase. You know, <laughs> I don't like to do things like that because I was planning sort of like a six month period. I want to get it for my birthday and then save towards that. So I'm six months early, which means not such a good thing financially. But yeah, I managed, I'm very lucky I managed to sell some of my things to fund it. And yeah, that makes me much, much happier. And I think I get a lot more use out of this bracelet than the items that I was holding on dearly. Yes, I have fulfilled my Cartier Just Include wish list and I'm super super happy about this. If you have any questions about this bracelet or even my love bracelet, leave it in the comment section down below. I will definitely get back to you in my review video in the future. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell as well. Everybody, please take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye!